Hi guys, my name is Borut Peterlin. I'm wet plate photographer and this is a short video about my work process in wet plate negative and salt printing. I love photographing outdoor and I live in, uh, in Slovenia that is known for its kitschy uh, landscape. So for this demonstration, I decided to do a landscape picture. It's one of my, my cameras, uh, my favorite ones actually. It's Bhagavasari Indian camera format, uh, 10 by 12 inch. That's 25 by 30 centimeters. I'm using collodion mixture for a wet plate negative that is very rich with uh, iodides because iodides gives you uh, greater density and greater contrast than um, you know than than normal amber type of mixture. <laughs> Don't be disturbed by this beeping of my stopwatch, it was just by chance that it beeped when I put it in. Uh, but you really need to measure the time. In a silver bath, uh, the glass plate uh, stays for five minutes. So it, um, not three, because so uh, much more silver nitrate um, is left on a plate and with more silver nitrate, you gain more density. you need to have also a good light which means you need to have a contrasty light and a light with full specter which is just the opposite to what I was dealing here I was dealing here with a greenish uh, poisonly greenish light and completely diffused and, and on top of that I was photographing trunks of trees which are you know basically black Consequently, my exposure time was 15 minutes F8, if you can believe it or not. That line on the plate is a hesitation mark, which is a very beginner's mistake, but okay, you know, it's fine, don't worry. Developing a wet plate negative, it takes between a minute and three minutes and I was developing in this hot weather for a minute and a half. Fixing is done with potassium cyanide. Thank you, Sergei Sergeyev. Uh, and uh, because it's really great, I don't have no problem with washing the fixer away. Cyanide is very easy, soluble in water, so I have no problem with later uh, with the processes that follow. You may think it's uh, from this video that the, the plate is underexposed, but it's not actually. It's perfectly exposed actually concerning the circumstances, but it's not it's not uh, thick enough, it's, it's not dense enough for uh, salt printing, so that's why 
the next process is redeveloping. I'm treating the plate with iodine, so making it um, again sensitive to light. Exposing it to daylight and then uh, redeveloping it with um, with pyro developer and inside I'm putting some um, some drops of silver nitrate. Here is the result. As you can see, I build up the density so it's contrasty and dense enough for salt printing. Next stage is actually varnishing, but I forgot to record that. Sorry. I'm measuring where I want to have the, the image. I want to have a white paper with a brown image. You know? I don't want to have the whole paper in, uh, soaked with silver and, um, and be brown. First coating is with um, with a gelatin and uh, salt. Uh, in this case, ammonium chloride. After I, I dry the the gelatin coating completely, so it's completely dry. Then the second coating is with silver nitrate, and then the the paper becomes light sensitive, and that's why I need to put a safe light on. Small 40 or 60 watts of uh, tungsten bulb is, is okay, the salt print is not that sensitive to light. Second coat is with silver, silver nitrate and citric acid. Uh, now uh, the silver nitrate reacts with the uh, ammonium chloride in a gelatin and becomes a uh, silver chloride which is um, which is light sensitive. The method as is this demonstrated here with the hair dryer is practical if you do for one print or two prints but uh, otherwise I if I use more prints I soak them in a in a bath of um, gelatin and ammonium chloride Now it's in contact print, uh, contact frame, and it's ready for exposure. Look how fast it reacts with the, with the daylight, with UV light. Look at the borders around the glass plate. One minute. Four minutes. Time to make a test, to, to, to open the frame, context frame and see how the printing is, um, is progressing. I expose my prints in shade, uh, so I get better contrast and better tonality, but also it takes a longer time. 20 minutes in this case, it could be, you know, in direct sun, it would be 3 minutes.
this ordinary uh, plexiglass. Uh, this is another trick I learned from uh, Kalko Gali. If I would treat this print for, I don't know, for hours in this tray, I would, uh, the ribs of a, of a tray would leave marks. But now when I have a plexiglass under it, uh, it stays flat and there is no uh, ribs um, on my print. Okay, first wash was salt, uh, salt uh, wash. So um, it was just a lot of salt in inside, kosher salt. So it takes the salt takes away the excess um, excess silver, and now I wash. This is a sensitive moment. Uh, I'm uh, making a gold chloride toner. Gold chloride it, it brings uh, it brings the tones down. So instead of this. Uh, reddish uh, tone um, it brings back to, to, to black or to chocolate black and uh, what is the most important it clears the, the whites so the whites are really white this process of washing and everything uh, till now was it took like 25 minutes and now the, finally the fix is coming and now the print is not sensitive to light anymore After fixing uh, five to ten minutes of washing, and after that, a wash aid comes. That's Ilford wash aid. Uh, that wash aid takes away uh, the remaining fix that uh, remain in the uh, in the paper. And ten to fifteen minutes more washing to take also the wash aid out. Drying the print, I'm putting it on the clean uh, board under the angle so the water drips down. And this is it. It's wonderful. Now the signature, I'm proud to sign this print. Last but not least, uh, the waxing of the print protects the image. This is bee wax mixed with lavender oil. Look at that miracle what waxing does. This beautiful satin uh, shine and uh, boosts the blacks and foremost it protects the print from environment. Okay guys, that's it. This is the print that we've done. If this video inspired you to do some wet plate collodion negative and some salt printing and you need help with it, with this process, Go and uh, learn from the best. Uh, go to Mark Osterman and Franz Kali, type collodium.org and find out when and where they have uh, their next workshop. If you are in Slovenia or that Southeast uh, Europe region, then you, you don't need me to tell you that you are screwed. And if you would still like to learn this process, send me an email. Me and Misha Kaskerovic are running workshops. We are enchanted by this technique and we are glad to share the knowledge. So send me an email and we will sort it out. So thanks for watching and top shit happens.